Hello, welcome to this video for the Range Rover Sport Autobiography. This is the uh, ultra rare 4.4 V8 turbo diesel. This vehicle has had one owner from new. It belonged to a famous football club. So it actually was used by one of the famous footballers. As you can see it's a very special looking car. Obviously the extras, as you've read in the uh, advert, it's got the stealth pack, it's got the uh, black pack as well. So it's got these lovely gloss black grills. The surrounds there, they're gloss black. These are gloss black as well. And so are these little air vent surrounds, gloss black, along with the mirrors, they're all gloss black. So a very good looking car. Wheels, very special. If we look closely at the wheels. They've got speckles of blue. So like a, uh, a very special metallic with little bits of blue, blue flake should we say. The 22 inch wheels. It has the uh, side step as standard, the Land Rover side step. As you can tell, it has the Land Rover logo there, and the Range Rover logo embossed into that. So that's a genuine Land Rover Range Rover part. Paintwork is in very good condition as you'd expect. It has had recent rear brake disc as you can see. This has got full service history as well. It has the four, four service stamps. Got the reverse camera, the reverse parking sensors, twin exhaust, little little vents here on the bottom of the uh, bumper, LED lights. It's got the uh, colour coded uh, metallic black roof as well. That's an extra. The Santorini Santorini black metallic roof. That's what they call it. Also, if you look, it has the heads-up display. So that the, that's the heads-up display, which you normally find on the uh, SVRs. Very expensive extra. So, that's the outside of the car. Let's take a look inside. Let's start from the bike. So for the rear, it has got the automatic tailgate. Push the button. Obviously the beauty about this car is we know it belonged to a footballer. So it's never been on a farm, etc. As you know, some people buy them because they live in a farm. So this is definitely not being used on a farm. It's being used by a premiership footballer. Very clean in here. No evidence of any pet hairs or any mud, should we say, or hay. Underneath here, we've got the uh, spare wheel, very clean. All the uh, locking wheel bolts there, the towing eye hook, and obviously the spare tyre looks like it's never been on. This is a uh, very good condition, this parcel shelf. It's, it's, it hasn't been uh, chewed by a pet dog, like some of them are missing. Most of them are missing. Most of them people do take them out, put them in the garage, and they go missing. So this has also got the expensive uh, suede uh, headlining as well, as you can see. 
it's uh, it's the suede Alcantara very expensive option all this is in good condition it's a carpeted rear with the LED lights as well no uh, no major scruff, scuffs or scratches on there and there we have the fun Okay, in the rear, the doors are very clean and shut. It's got this lovely piano black trim there. The Meridian sound system. All these door shuts are nice and clean. Backs of the seats are clean. It's got the fitted carpet, the thick pile. Land Rover carpet. Also, it has in the back here. It has the uh, expensive rear heated seat option and climate control. So this is a four-zone climate, as you can see. It's got the uh, three full-size seat belts and seats, and the headrest as well. LED interior lights. Uh, the sun blind as well for the panoramic tilt and slide glass roof. So it's the tilt and slide panoramic roof, not the fixed one. So the fixed one is a standard option, the slide and tilt one was an extra option. So this has got the memory seats, the front seats are memory, three setting memories. So electric memory seats, sport seats as well. The sitting there we call it uh, a nice square pattern it looks like the uh, strap on a rolex watch so it's also got the uh, foldable wing mirrors as well uh, electric windows this range rover illuminated range rover sill kick plate it has got the interior ambient lighting pack as well so if you look here we can see we've got a little bit of purple going on there so at night time in the evening it's all purple Obviously I can't see it's too bright now. Uh, the aluminium foot pedals as well. The lever's in really good condition. Let's get inside now. So, inside. We've got this electric um, steering wheel tilt and rake adjustment so if we look up here you can see the head up display I'm gonna have to zoom into that because it's weird in real real life I can see it very clearly ah I cannot zoom but there we go so there you go you can see it there that's your head up display all the dash here is leather trimmed as you can see it's a leather trimmed and stitched top of the dash. Stop start button there. You've got your uh, virtual clocks. You've also got on this one, because it's the 4.4, you've got the heated steering wheel as well. Heated steering wheel, the ad adaptive cruise control, the paddle shifts, gear changes there, the uh, menu, computer, voice command, and the telephone, Bluetooth answering automatic headlights as you'd expect and this is the computer so the computer is obviously touch screen press that and we've got the sat nav uh, go to home again so we've got all these extras we go there it's got the stealth bottom right there got the cameras ambient lighting auto parking aid so yeah it's got the automatic parking aid as well so you can switch that on or off uh, let's go back to there ambient lighting at so the moment it's set on uh, purple so you can change all the colors and brightness as you can see it's already at the brightest on purple so you can change that to whatever mood you're in uh, press the button here and we go to the climate seat so these are air-cooled 
and heated seats as well so they can be cooled so we press that it's cooled and then you know wait a few seconds and then the uh, fans will blow through the seats and I'll have a cold bottom down here we've got the uh, heated front windscreen there and the rear one the dual zone climate left and right temperatures so it's a four zone climate control uh, and then obviously here we've got the gear lever we've got the lovely drinks holder there with a 12 volt output there and then we've got this uh, off-road and on-road uh, selection we've got the traction control we've got the suspension up and down and we've got the stop start button there the electronic handbrake lift the armrest we have a USB input output and 12 volt as well and the aux we've got that and then if we lift this we've got the fridge so there's the fridge we've also got these uh, fold down armrest as well additional ones there's two of those if we press the button there we've got the glove box there all this uh, shiny silver pearl trim they call it with the piano black there and uh, what else have we got here up here we've got the controls for the sunroof or the pan roof so if we that one's for the blind the bike so the blind will come forward I'll stop with that if I press the close so that will now stop just there so it's on tilt I move the blind back you can see it's on tilt so if I want it to close now I press again and that closes so yeah tilt and slide pan roof So I'll just walk around to the side now, I'll show you the other two doors and then we'll open the engine bay. So this is the rear door, to show you the door cards here. Oh well, that's in nice condition, all the door shuts are clean. All the carpets are clean. There's no marks or tears or rips in the leather. No seat belts have been trapped here on this. Obviously this is the most used rear door. So this uh, passenger side has also got a memory seat setting as well. So that's a three stage memory setting as well. that seat's mint as well so down here we've got the lever for the bonnet so pull that and have a look under here and there we have the 4.4 turbo diesel engine very nice very quiet and smooth So the LED lights, yeah I'll just walk around the vehicle once more. So there you have it, very nice Range Rover Sport Autobiography V8 4.4 turbo diesel. Thanks for watching.